Good afternoon. Hi. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon, teacher. <laughs> Good afternoon, girls. How are you? Fine. Thank you, teacher. And you? I'm pretty good. I'm happy to see you. Well, to have you in class because I don't see you. <laughs> okay. Welcome back, girls. Let me share with you the PPT that we have for today's class. All right. So look at this. You're just missing two more class. No, one class more, and that's it. You finish your level. Excellent. So today we're going to finish section five. All right. So we're still under the topic, where were you born? We are in class 15, all right? So today we're going to see the final exam. Ahora vamos a hacer el final exam together. Solo en caso de que tenga alguna duda o no lo pudieran terminar durante el fin de semana, hoy lo vamos a trabajar, right? So don't worry. But before getting into the business of the last exam, we are going to have a short review about the topics that we have seen uh, already, all right? So let's get into the business. Let's see. WH questions with did, was, and where. Now, if you remember in the video, the teacher uh, explained, <clears throat> explained that you must follow certain um, structures, right? In order for you to not get confused with the different topics. Es necesario que ustedes se guíen por las estructuras para no confundirnos entre todos los tópicos, right? Ya que todos pertenecen al pasado, pero son distintos tipos de tenses, right? Sí es cierto que todos equivalen al grupo de past, los que hemos visto últimamente, pero hay unos que son eh, simple past y hay otros que son past of be, right? Entonces equivalen a cosas, dos cosas diferentes. So let's get into the practice with the vocabulary. Now, Sé que muchas de ustedes quizás ya finalizaron la section 5, and congratulations for that. Y alguna quizás hasta el midterm exam, right? Hasta el último exam. Pero vamos a continuar practicando mucho el speaking, all right? Porque sí es cierto, el grammar se practica en la, en la platform, pero aquí vamos con todo con el speaking. So let's get, let's see. Where do you grow up? We have the questions and we have the answers. We're going to practice together. Let me check. Um, I'm going to ask, and Anita, you are going to answer, right? Yo le pregunto, usted contesta, Anita. Where did you grow up? When did you come to Los Angeles? Oh, over here, honey. I grew oh, up. thank you. <laughs> I grew up in Texas. Where did you come to Los Angeles? I come to... Los Angeles in 1990. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I need uh, the money. I need it? I need it. The money. The money. Excellent. Um, how old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? I was drama. How was your college? I was great. It was great. Excellent. Right. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Very good, Anita. Now, what about you, lady? Let's answer these questions. Yo le pregunto, lady, usted contesta. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 99. Why Nine. did you? Become a hairstylist. Because I needed the money. Mm -hmm. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college, lady? It is was drama. How old? Oh no, how was college? It was great. Excellent. There you go. Now notice girls. Si nota, yo voy haciendo las questions. Porque a donde más tienen el uso del, de los verbos gramaticalmente en pasado es en las respuestas, right? Y eso es lo que yo necesito que ustedes practiquen más. Porque yo creo que las questions sí si la, nos movilizamos así, right? Ya sabemos que está el uso del did, del was, del where. 
pero ya el momento de contestar con los verbos en pasado es donde más tenemos que practicar. Y eso es para todos los que siempre estamos comenzando en este nivel, ¿ok? So, let's get with another one. Vamos con otra. Let me check. Eh, Gloria Mena. Yo le pregunto, Gloria, usted contesta, right? So, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Angeles in 99. Why did you become a hairstylist? Uh, because I needed the money. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was your college? It was great. Excellent, Gladia, very good. Good Thanks. mood. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. There you go, very good. Eso es lo que quiero, que vayan agarrando más confianza, right? Que ya no estemos tan nerviosas porque estos verbs ya están aquí. No los tienen que buscar. Let's go with Natalia. So let's see, Natalia, where did you grow up? Yo le pregunto y usted contesta con estos que están aquí. Okay, miss. So where did you grow up, Natalia? I grew up in Texas. Ah, when did you come to Los Angeles? I, I come to Los, Los Angeles in 1990. Mm, why did you become a hairstylist? Because I need the money. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. There you go, excellent, thank you. All right, girls, now let's get to somebody else. Let's see, Karen Heyman. Let's see. Yo le pregunto, usted contesta, Karen. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. Oh, what was your major in college, Karen? It was a drama. How was college? I was great. It was great. There you go. Thank you, girl. All right, now let's move on with the next guiding examples. So I have these guiding examples for you girls, right? Um, déjenme ver, mañana, como ahora primeramente Dios, vamos a terminar el, el final exam, right? Entonces vamos a hacer mañana un review de todos estos tiempos gramaticales, desde el future we'll be going to hasta ahorita, right? Así que vamos, van a sentir que vamos a ir un poquito rápido, quizás en alguna parte de esta PPT, porque me tengo que ir al final exam, right? Pero mañana tengan por seguro que ese review tenemos que hacerlo, porque es como... Para terminar de pulir todo, right? Like to polish everything. Now let's go with these ones. Estos son unos gaining examples de cómo pueden hacer ustedes las preguntas. For example, where do you buy that dress? I bought it in Sara. Not suppose, right? How was your weekend? It was good, right? Entonces ahora cuando ustedes ya entren a la clase y yo les pregunte, hi, how are you girls? Ustedes dicen, I am good, teacher. How was your weekend? Ah, it was good. It was <laughs> so so. It was fun. It was great. It was boring. All right. There you go. Ahora ya pueden hacer uso de esos tenses. Now let me ask you. Um, supongamos que ustedes han comprado un vestido y supongamos que yo les estoy haciendo esa question number two. All right. So let me go with. Ustedes van a cambiar esta respuesta y también van a cambiar esta otra. Let's see Isis Leyes. Hey Isis, where did you buy the dress? Um, because I like it. I, ah, where? Notice Isis, where? Donde? Um, I, I bought, bought it. Uh -huh. I bought it in um, Metro Centro. Ajá, uh -huh, there you go, excellent, very good. Lo que quiero es que vayamos haciendo uso ya de estos verbs, ¿ok? Very good, Isis. 
Um, Isis, how was your weekend? Um, it was... La pregunta es, teacher, es, how was, es, ¿quién? ¿Cómo fue? ¿Cómo, cómo, cómo, cómo fue? Okay. Ajá. ¿Cómo fue o cómo estuvo su weekend, su fin de semana? I was very good. It was very good. Excellent. Very good. Is this, now you go. ¿Ya ven? Es, es una pregunta sencilla de contestar, right? Cuando ya encuentran el verb que quieren utilizar, que en este caso sabemos que sería el auxiliary was, entonces ya no nos preocupamos mucho. Lo demás puede ser, I was boring. Ah, ah ok. Denme un segundo, please. Eh, pueden decir, it was boring. Um, it was good. It was bad. All right. Nada más. You don't need to complicate yourself. Si notan aquí, si notan estos examples de nuevo, cuando les hacen ese tipo de preguntas con el was or where, es un poco más fácil de contestar, right? It was good. It was great. It was fantastic. It was awful. Fue horrible, right? Horripilante. It was awful. So there you go. Let me go with Emperatriz. So Emperatriz, girl, where did you buy that dress? I bought in I bought it in Sara. Mm, how was your weekend, Emperatriz? It was uh, so um uh, uh, Certainly, it was very busy. Okay, there you go. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you. What about you, Anita? Where did you buy that? Let me see. Where did you buy that jacket? Creo que es una jacket o una blouse. Like, anda pues. Blouse, right? So, where did you buy it? Your microphone. <laughs> Que no lo encontraba. <laughs> ok. It about it in the Los Angeles, California. Really? That's uh, so cool. Yes. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> y yo aquí le voy a preguntar de paso. De... <laughs> so, uh, um, aprovecho cuando voy. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Yeah, uh -huh. it's, that's great. Uh -huh. Excellent. Uh -huh. Ya sé que pedirle a mi tía ahora. <laughs> ah, sí. Uh -huh. So, how was your weekend, Anita? Uh -huh. Tell me. Uh -huh. It was very work. ¿Cómo puedo decir mucho trabajo? Ah, it was workful o it was... Workful. Ajá, it was también puede decir it was full of work. Estaba lleno de trabajo. It was right? full work. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. Okay, that's great. Thank you, Anita. All right, girls, let's move on to the next one. Let's go into this part. Now, it says complete the word map with words from the list. Then listen and check. What are we going to do? Yo ya tengo categorizadas aquí estas words, words list, all right? So let me get, solo les voy a poner el video porque me interesa que ustedes, uno, conozcan los significados de esto, and two, learn the pronunciation, all right? So let me share with you the video. Déjenme ahorita buscar el video y lo voy a compartir con ustedes. Although I'm pretty sure that maybe you already finished that part, but still, I need you to work with this. Check. Okay, now there you go. And answers as possible. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for discussing school. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Classes. History. Math, physical education, science, schools, college, elementary, high, junior high, places, classroom, gym, lunchroom, playground. Now, I would like for you to do a couple of things. First, I would like for you to categorize the vocabulary into 
three different sections, classes, schools, and places. For example, under places, you can add classroom. Then I would like for you to ask and answer questions in the past using the vocabulary that we just learned. For example, where did you go to elementary school? What were your favorite subjects in high school? Try to make as many questions and answers as possible. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Hi. Okay, there you go. Now let's go back to the PPT because I have it already for you. Okay, so let's check. I have the categories over here. Yo tengo las categorías por aquí, right? Y las tengo ordenadas. I have them organized. So let's see, we have classes. Primero les voy a dar el vocabulary y luego voy a pasar por cada una a ver cómo estamos trabajando con ese vocabulary. So in classes, we have history, math, math, physical education, and science. Okay, remember this one, science. Then over schools, we have college, elementary, high, in junior high. Then you go to places and you have classroom, gym, lunchroom, and playground, right? So let's go and practice with this vocabulary. Let's see, Patricia, Patricia Betsabe, can you please tell me the vocabulary of classes, school, and places? Maybe I, uh, hey. classes. Uh -huh. History, math, physician, education, and science. Only? Ah, also this one, schools and places. Schools, college, elementary, high, junior high. Mm -hmm. Places, classroom, gym, long room, Lunchroom, the playroom. Excellent, there you go. Thank you, honey. Aunque ustedes vean que aquí quizás les aparece como que la computer lo tira mal, así se escribe, right? Y así lo tienen ustedes categorizado aquí también. Va unido, el playground va unido y el lunchroom también. Okay? So, there, let's continue. Let's go with Karen Heyman, please. Classes, history, math, physical education, and science, is true. College, elementary, high, junior high. Places, classroom, gym, lunchroom, the playground. Mm -hmm. There you go, excellent. Thank you, Karen. All right, now let's go, let me see. Let's go with Natalia. Solo quiero recomendarles de nuevo en esta, everybody. Eh, para que no se nos olvide, esta es college, all right? Collage es una cosa diferente a college. Aquí vamos con college. Let's see, Natalia, please. Okay, Miss. Eh, classes. History, math, physical education, eh, science. School. College, elementary, high, junior high, places, a classroom, classroom, gym, lunch from the playground. Excellent. There you go. Thank you. Let's go with Emperatriz. Uh, classes, history, math, physical education, science, a school, college, elementary, high, junior high. Places, classroom, gym, lunch room, playground. Excellent. There you go. Science, everybody. Science is the subject. Uh -huh. Exactly. There you go. Thank you, Beatriz. Okay. That's how you pronounce it. Science. All right. Um, let me check. ¿Qué les quería comentar? Let me see. En cuanto a schools, yo creo que lo único que varía with El Salvador or with the other Latin American countries. Uh, is that we don't have the same levels, right? For example, in Estados Unidos, creo que ellos tienen que ir primero al college antes de entrar a university. Entonces, esos son como los niveles que varían con nosotros, right? 
Nosotros después de bachillerato, un solo university, and that's it. So, let's go with Fatima Enriquez. Tell me the vocabulary, please. Uh, class, history, math, psych psychical education, science, school, college, elementary, high, junior high, places, classroom, gym, lunchroom, uh, playground. There you go. Excellent. Thank you, Fatima. Let's go with Gloria Mena. Classes, history, math, psychology, education, uh, science, school, college, elementary, high, junior high, please, classroom, gym, long room, playground. Playground. Excellent. Thank you. Now, in this one, everybody, don't forget, this one is physical, all right? Psychologically is another word, but this one is physical education, lo que nosotros conocemos como educación física, right? O deportes. So let me go with Isis Reyes. Classes, history, math, physical education, science, schools, college, elementary, high, junior high, places, classroom, gym, lunchroom, playground. Excellent, there you go, thank you. And now let's go with Anita, please. Anita Reyes. Rivas. Classes, history, math, physical education, science, school, college, elementary, high, junior high, place, classroom, gym, lunchroom, lunchroom, playground. Excellent, there you go. All right, everybody. Excellent, beautiful. We're doing good with the vocabulary. What are we going to do next? Guiding examples. If you notice in the video, the teacher said, create as many examples as you can using the vocabulary learned. That's what we're gonna do. Where did you go to college? Where did you go to college? I went to, I don't know, to any college that you know, right? In this case, we don't have college, I think, so in El Salvador, we only have universities, all right? And then you go to number two, what were your favorite subjects in elementary, all right? My favorite subjects were, now, take into consideration, en esta que dice, what were your favorite subjects in elementary, siempre vamos a comenzar con esta frase, all right? Para ser más amables, para ser más polites, all right? What were your favorite schools in elementary? Ah, my favorite subjects were um, science and physical education, let's suppose, all right? So these are the examples. What we're going to do next is this one, practice time. Let me check, Karen Heyman, can you please tell me the, the instructions? Hello, Karen. Maybe I don't have it. Let me go with Natalia, please. Help me with the instructions. Uh, practice time. Work uh, one, work individual. Uh, two, create two question using past tense and the book. Vocabulary learned. learned. Mm -hmm. Three, share your sentence. There you go. Excellent. All right, girls. Cuando, <coughs> cuando ustedes ven que dicen using past tenses, se refiere a que ustedes pueden utilizar ya sea el simple past o el past of be. Ustedes deciden de acuerdo a lo que quieren preguntar, right? Claro está, tiene que ser con este vocabulary, right? Por ejemplo, si ustedes quieren preguntar, um, ¿matemáticas era tu materia favorita? All right? Entonces pueden decir, ¿was math your favorite subject? All right? ¿Was math your favorite subject? Y así pueden ir tomando el vocabulary para crear only two questions and two answers. If you need help, you let me know.
Miss, disculpe, eh, no sé qué los puso a hacer, es que me tuve que salir un ratito. Ay, Karen, don't worry, ahorita le explico. Estamos haciendo, no sé si todavía estaba aquí cuando eh, les expliqué estos examples. All right. Estos son ejemplos que he hecho utilizando este vocabulary, porque en el video del vocabulary a ustedes les piden que creen ejemplos. Entonces, hice estos examples para que ustedes vean cómo utilizar el vocabulario y eso es lo que están haciendo ahorita, right? Dos, eh, two questions and two answers. Ok, gracias. You're welcome, honey. If by any chances, girls, you need help, you let me know. And if you already finish, you let me know too, please. Uh, just for you to have like extra information, you could also use como basically, usualmente, o por lo menos en esta parte estamos utilizando las double H words, ¿verdad? Entonces, si ustedes desean preguntar por una materia en específico, también pueden decir, um, how was history in college? Y pueden responder, it was difficult, it was easy, it was good, it was bad, right? O también, eh, how was, or what was your favorite subject, como ya decíamos. O how was your elementary school, right? Tienen diferentes maneras de utilizar el double H words. Así que si tienen dudas o una consulta o ya finalizaron, me pueden decir, all right?
All right, girls, have you finished your questions? ¿Cómo vamos con esas preguntas? ¿Las terminamos aunque sea una? Yes, no. Okay, I'm gonna give you uh, like three more minutes and you let me know, right? All right, so let's check, girls. ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Ya tienen alguna question? ¿Con el vocabulario? Me. Ah, let me hear. ¿Quién dijo me? Where were you having lunch on the college? Repeat again, sorry, Emperatriz. Where were you had the lunch uh -huh. on the college? Uh -huh. Where did you have lunch on college? Where did you have? Mm -hmm. and Excellent. How old were you studying history? Ah, very good. How old were you when you studied history? Very good. Uh, next, where did you do exercise? Where do you do exercise? Uh huh. Only. Very good, Emperatriz. Those are correct. Thank Excellent. you. Somebody else? Alguien más? All right. Recuerden que, bueno, no sé si ustedes ya finalizaron la plataforma completamente. Pero recuerden que ahí en el video les piden eso como de tarea, right? Que tienen que escribir sus questions. Así que es mejor que yo se las chequee para ayudarles. Miss. Uh -huh. Let's see, um, okay. Um, how was your high? Um, Esta no sé si estará bien porque no, no, no recuerdo. How was physical education your favorite subject? subject? How, how was your favorite? Uh, how was physical education? So uh -huh. like again, how was physical education? Okay, your favorite subject. Uh -huh. oh, ¿Qué quiere preguntar? ¿Cómo era educación física? No, eh, oh. yo lo que... Si era su... Ah, clase favorita. Excelente. Was, ahí si utilizamos el was, permítame Natalia, va pasando el señor de las verduras. 
por eso, por eso no, sé, no estoy segura si es how was physical education your favorite subject. Yeah, it's going to be like that. Um, was physical education your favorite subject? Ah, okay. Uh -huh. yeah. Only Very good, Natalia. Those are good. Excellent. Sí, de hecho, ustedes ahorita, hasta ahorita llevan el uso mucho de las double H words para las preguntas, right? What was your favorite subject in school? Ajá, Gloria. Let's check. <laughs> A ver, dígame. Eh, how was your favorite subject in school? Uh -huh. eh, my favorite subject in school is eh, history. Eh, for me, it's interesting, eh, eh, very good in my life. Very good, excellent. Yeah, it's true, Gloria. History is highly important. Sí, la verdad es que history debería ser como mandatory. <laughs> yes, teacher. Exactly, there you go. Thank you, Gloria. Somebody else? Alguien más que desee compartir sus questions? All right? I don't have anyone else. All right, girls. Vamos a ver si durante la tarde les eh, surge alguna duda. No duden en preguntarme, right? Ustedes ya saben cuál es mi WhatsApp number. Ahí pueden escribirme porque sí deseo que avance en la plataforma. Karen, veo que tiene el micrófono abierto. Sí, yo le quería decir mis preguntas para que me corrija. Yes, honey, dígame. Um, when was this you go to the gym? I went to the gym all week. Okay, how... When how was... was ¿Qué quiere preguntar con esa, eh, Karen? ¿Cuándo fuiste al gimnasio? When ah, was... when did you go to the did gym? Go, uh -huh, to the gym. Mm -hmm. I went to the gym all week. Wow. <laughs> okay. Y la siguiente es, what were your favorite exercises in the gym? Uh -huh. My favorite exercise was a squat. All right, excellent. Now, solo no se olvide que si está utilizando el where, tiene que decir what were your favorite exercises. Exercise. Uh, uh -huh. Necesito el exercise al final, solo que no lo puse. <laughs> All right, excellent. Sí, a veces lo puse, Karen, no se preocupe. Pero si lo puso, excellent. Okay. Very good. All right, girls, there you go. Now, let's move on to Ricky Martin, all right? Esto es parte de la plataforma. Usted les va a ayudar mucho el reading para detectar eh, partes específicas. En el inglés nosotros tenemos algo que se llama scanning and scanning, all right? Cuando buscamos por información directa, específica y de manera rápida, all right? A veces inclusive obviamos leer algunas palabras pequeñas, pero eso es algo un poco más avanzado, all right? Mientras tanto, vamos a hacer el reading de esto para ver cómo estamos con la fluency de nuestro inglés. Um, let me check. I'm going to have Isis Reyes. Can you please read the first paragraph? Me lee el primer paragraph. Okay. Um, Ricky Martin was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico, on December 24, in 19... 71. Mm -hmm. He was always a performance as a child. He appeared in television commercials and studied singing. Excellent. There you go. Repeat after me, sis. Um, let me see. As a child. As a child. He appeared. He appeared. Mm -hmm. There you go. Excellent. Thank you, Isis. Thank you. Uh, let's go with Fatima Enriquez, please. Paragraph number two. At the age of uh, 12, he joined the Latin boy band. Um, menudo. menudo. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> he worked hard with them and, uh, and he be became very well now, but 
he left the group after five five years. There you go, excellent, Fatima. Very good. Let's go with Gloria Mena. Let's check this reading, Gloria. Martin moved to the New York City, but he didn't work for a year. He was very frustrated, so he moved to Mexico City and got a part on Mexican swap opera. Mm -hmm. Afterward, he recorded to a Spanish language album. After this success, success? he moved back. He went back to the USA. Excellent, there you go. Thank you, Gloria. Let me go with... Let me go with uh, Karen Heyman, please. The following paragraph. Pero Karen de este también se va a pasar a este que dice, that album. Okay, que sacrificio. <laughs> ah? <laughs> no, I mean, okay. Back in the U.S., um, he up, esa no sé cómo se pronuncia. Appeared. Appeared mm -hmm. on an America soap opera and in the Broadway show, Les Miserables. Then he made his first English language album. That album was a color Ricky Martin, his biggest hit, Living La Vida Loca, was on that album. Excellent. There you go. Thank you, Karen. Let's go with Anita. Let's see, Anita, si ya no está ocupadita. Me le este para. Yes. Okay. Now, he's famous around the world, but he is still works hard uh -huh. and he is still loves singing. And ¿Cómo se dice? As he said. No, no. Loves. Uh -huh. Love singing. Singing. Uh -huh. As he said to a report for the newspaper, you say, today I want to do this forever. Excellent. There you go. Thank you. All right, guys. So there you go. Um, of course, as per usual, reading this type of articles is not only helping us to know about famous people but also you can practice your speaking as well and your writing all right your reading sorry writing is escritura <laughs> okay and your reading so it's great mañana voy a volver a tener este reading y van a pasar las que me hacen falta porque recuerden que speaking is really important and we need to practice with it now let's go to the final exam let's see vamos a darnos copia <laughs> No, just kidding. Estoy segura que ustedes ya lo terminaron. If not, don't worry. Para eso estamos aquí, para trabajarlo, ¿ok? So let me check. Let's go to the final exam. Si les aparece a ustedes ahorita la imagen de la plataforma, me confirman, please. Yes, yes. Excellent, very good. Now let me go over here. Tenemos un reading y vamos a ir chequeando cuando escuchemos, right? Después de escuchar el reading, Vamos a escucharlo la primera vez. La segunda vez ya vamos a ir completándolo, ¿ok? So, here we go. Let me check. Units 13 to 14 quiz. Part A. Listen to Helen and Mark's conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Hey, Mark. Where are you going? Oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. I need to buy him a present, so I'm going to Smith's department store. Are you going to drive there? No, I don't have any gasoline in the car. I'm going to walk. You know, I need to go to the bank. It's not far from Smith's. Can I come with you? Sure. Two. Uh-oh, I think we're lost. Where's Smith's department store? I'm not sure. I usually drive there. Do you know where it is? No, not really. Well, I think it's on 2nd Street. 
No, it's not. We're on 2nd Street now. I think it's on Main. You're right. It's on the corner of 1st and Main. Three. Um, so how do we get there from here? Well, we're on 2nd now, right? Yeah. So we just walk up 2nd to Main. Are you sure? Yes. Then we turn right. It's down the street on the left. Four. What are you going to buy for your father? I'm not sure. Maybe a tie? Oh, no, not a tie. No? Then what? How about a nice sweater? Look at these sweaters here. Oh, they are nice. I think I'll get him one. Thanks. Okay, now that we have finished the audio, we're going to play it once again. But what are you going to do? What you're going to do following is we're going to stop in each of the parts of the audio, right? So for you to answer the correct response. <laughs> Units 13 to 14 quiz. Part A. Listen to Helen and Mark's conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Hey, Mark. Where are you going? Oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. I need to buy him a present, so I'm going to Smith's department store. Are you going to drive there? No, I don't have any gasoline in the car. I'm going to walk. You know, I need to go to the bank. It's not far from Smith's. Can I come with you? Sure. Okay, so for you girls, where are Helen and Mark going? Remember that going is for the future. So where do you think they are going? Option A or B or C? Option A. There you go. We're going to check it at the end. Okay, let's continue. Two. Uh-oh, I think we're lost. Where's Smith's department store? I'm not sure. I usually drive there. Do you know where it is? No, not really. Well, I think it's on 2nd Street. No, it's not. We're on 2nd Street now. I think it's on Main. You're right. It's on the corner of 1st and Main. So the correct one for number two, it must be? B. B. B, Miss B. That's correct. There you go. Thank you. Three. So how do we get there from here? Well, we're on second now, right? Yeah. So we just walk up second to Maine. Are you sure? Yes. Then we turn right. It's down the street on the left. Four. And what do you think it's number three, then? B. Huh? B. A. C. A. Okay, there you go. We're going to choose C, and then we're going to listen, if we need it, all right? What are you going to buy for your father? I'm not sure. Maybe a tie? Oh, no, not a tie. No? Then what? How about a nice sweater? Look at these sweaters here. Oh, they are nice. I think I'll get him one. Thanks. Okay, now notice that he doesn't say I'm going to buy one. He says strictly, I think I'm going to get it. So, sweater. Uh -huh. sweater. All right, sweater. let's submit. Vamos a ver cuánto nos sacamos. Yes, there you go. All of these are the correct ones. So congratulations. Very good. <clears throat> Take it to consideration. If you haven't finished, you can copy this one song uh, from the PPT, right? Let's go to this one. Now in these ones, girls, let me check if I can. I want to move this one over here. Okay. No. Let's make it green. Okay, so let me check. Let's see, Emperatriz. The department store is across from, on, next to, between, on the corner of. Vamos a ver la picture, Beth, Emperatriz. Okay. Este es el department store. Okay. 
in the question is where is uh, the department store ah no the statement porque ya es un statement no les preguntan right ya es un statement es una declaración dice the department store is y le pone el lugar donde está qué otro lugar está ahí entonces cuál utilizaría usted next to on across from next to there you go excellent and al coffee shop is vamos a ver recuerden siempre las prepositions all right y nos da movie theater entonces vamos a ver este es el movie theater y déjenme ver no veo al coffee al coffee well let me check let's see anita where do you think is al coffee Across from. Okay, let's check that one. Across from the movie theater. And let's go with number three. Maria's restaurant is, Natalia, where is Maria's restaurant? Main Street and Second Avenue. Yes, it's a uh, corner of. Okay, let me check. There you go. On the corner off. That's correct. Let's submit it, girls. And there you have it. Very good. Pretty amazing. Thank you, girls. Let's go to the following. All right, give me one second. I'll be right back. No, okay, it is stuck. <laughs> let's check. Sorry for the uh, background noise, all right? So let's go for this one. Select the best answer. Were your parents born in the US? Basically, aquí lo que tienen que hacer es seleccionar la respuesta correcta. All right? So, notice, si notan esto, aquí estamos comenzando con verb to be, right? Verb to be in the past. Were your parents born in the US? So, what do you think is the correct answer, Fatima? Disculpe. ¿Cuál cree que sea la respuesta correcta aquí, Farima? Entre estas. No, they weren't. My parents were born in Japan. I grew up in Tokyo. In Tokyo. My first English teacher was Mr. Sato. I came to New York in 1998. Oh, it was a little scary. La primera. Okay. Thank you. Let's go with uh, Gloria Mena. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Tokyo. Okay, excellent. And let's go with Isis Reyes. Who was your first English teacher? Um, my first English teacher was Mr. Sato. That's correct. And Patricia Pacheco, when did you come to New York? Let's see, Patty. Hello, Patty. Are you there? <laughs> Let me check. If not, Karen Heyman, when did you come to New York? I came I came to New York in 1998. Okay, excellent. And let's go with the last one. Uh, Anita, how was your first day in the US? It was a little scary. That's correct, excellent. All right, girls, let's submit these answers. Mm -hmm. And there you go, bravo girls. Now listen, uh, because of the time, maybe we won't be able to finish the whole exam, right? Because we don't have a no longer time, but let's try to make this one. Match the verbs to the nouns. We have had, 
Recuerda esta parte. Esto lo hicimos en un exercise, right? Que ya lo teníamos categorizados. So, si yo quiero utilizar had, ¿con cuál de estas opciones podría utilizarlo? A picnic. A picnic. Uh -huh. Excellent. Y si yo quiero utilizar plate? Tennis. Let me check, let me check. ¿Dónde está? Take photos, please. Okay, If I want to say took. Photos. If I want to use went. That's correct. Excellent. And the last one saw. Play. Play. There you go. All right, girls, let's submit this ones. And there you go. Excellent, bravo, very good. All right, my beautiful students, we're going to finish the class over here. If you need help to finish your last exam, si en dado caso les surge una duda o necesitan ayuda para terminar el examen, me avisan, all right? And I will see you tomorrow, please. No se pierda la clase de mañana, right? Tenemos un review bastante grueso. All right, girls, bye, take care. Thank you. Bye. Welcome. Bye.